This program illustrates how to do what Minnick calls macho rounding. Uh, by the way, that's his made up word. Nobody else calls it macho rounding. If you have a variable such as num and it's a double and you want to round it to the nearest whole number, well, we, we can allow the user to type in a number of their choice. Running this program, let's type in the number 13.2 and it does print out 13 because 13.2 should not round up. Let's follow the mathematical logic to understand why 13 printed out. 13.2 was stored in num and we added 0.5 to it. That turned it into 13.7. And when you put the word int in front of some mathematical expression like that with a set of parentheses, the word int chops off the decimal places. It takes the 13.7, which is really a double behind the scenes because it has that decimal point. It takes that 13.7 and chops off the 0.7. Even if it were 0.99, it would chop it off, leaving just 13. That, folks, is a way to round to the nearest whole number. It worked for 13.2, rounding it down to 13. Let's run the program again and see if uh, we can get something that rounds up like it should. This time, I'm going to type in, uh, say, 13.8. Well, it did round it up to 14, which is what we uh, wanted. Follow with me. 13.8 plus 0.5. That works out to 14.3 as a whole in that set of parentheses, 14.3. What, what do you get when you take 14.3 and you typecast it to an int? In other words, chop off the decimal places. We also call that truncating the decimal places. 14.3, sorry, we chop off the point .3 and we're left with just 14. Showing you that the number 13.8 did correctly round up. Now let's test the program with uh, the number 13.5 exactly and see if it works. Should 13.5 round up? Yes, it should. Normally people round up at 0.5, they round up. Hitting the enter key? Yep, it worked. 13.5 did round up to 14. Let's follow the mathematical logic. 13.5 when it was inputted with the CN statement, added to 0.5 turns into 14.0 exactly. And when you int 14.0, well, you chop off 0.0, 0.0. There, there's really nothing to chop off, but you're left with 14 either way. And therefore, uh, it prints out 14 on this line of code. Test it with any number that you can think of, any positive number. This doesn't work for negatives, not at least in this format. Any positive number uh, up to roughly 2 billion will work. Uh, well, any number uh, above 2 billion because the variable num is a double. So uh, pretty much any number under the sun will work here. It will round to the nearest whole number. In order to round to the nearest penny or hundreds place, Let's examine the assignment statement down below. Running the program again, typing in uh, anything for this number, we now type in the number, uh, a number with more than two decimal places, like 3.245. And the program does correctly round that to 3.25. That 4 rounds up to a 5. Let's study the code. Oh, messy stuff. We got to work from inside the parentheses out. Num is 3.245. When you multiply by 100, you're moving the decimal two places to the right. So 3.245, move that little decimal point two places to the right. Temporarily, you have on your hands 324.5. What's 324.5 plus 50 cents? Uh, $325 even. 
And then uh, this inner set of parentheses executes, which means that you are typecasting that to an int. Well, $325 even turned into a whole number is still 325. The last step in this statement is to divide by 100. So if you have the number 325 divided by 100, that means you need to move the decimal point two places to the left. So imagine a 325, and you move the decimal two places to the left, and you're left with 3.25. This variable over here ends up being exactly what you want, 3.25. In essence, you artificially temporarily moved the decimal point two places to the right, you rounded that to the nearest whole number, and then you moved the decimal point two places back to the left. So really this algorithm is a variation of the algorithm we just examined. We just had to temporarily multiply by 100 and divide by 100 to make it work. Notice though that I have point zero here. If you don't have point zero, integer division chops off your decimal places when you don't want it to. So you do need point zero there. Notice the parentheses. According to the order of operations, this is one of the only ways to get this right. It works from inside out, and it just works.